Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, but if you're new here, my name's Tyler and I just do consistent content on all things related hockey and the NHL overall. A quick shout out and thank you to anyone and everyone that took part in my live stream last night. It was my first live stream on the channel and it was of course for game three of the Stanley Cup finals between the Dallas Stars and the Tampa Bay Lightning. A lot of fun. I really enjoyed everyone that stopped by and having these hockey conversations. I hope to see you all there for my next live streams, whether that be more games regarding the Stanley Cup finals or for sure, I can promise you I will be live streaming the first day of this NHL draft, which is on October 6th. So I hope to see you guys there and just make sure to stay tuned for whenever these live streams occur because there will be plenty in the near future. But we are discussing Alexander Petrangelo here once again. I touched on him just around two weeks ago regarding his connection to the Tampa Bay Maple Leafs, uh, not Tampa Bay Maple Leafs, the Toronto Maple Leafs, and how they could be a possible suitor for, of course, the coveted captain from the St. Louis Blues. But since then, there has been plenty of rumors to suggest that the Vegas Golden Knights have shown heavy interest in the likes of Alexander Petrangelo. Now, I've known about this over the past two weeks. I didn't touch on Vegas because I didn't see them as much of a fit as I do say Toronto. And yes, I understand Toronto needs to make a lot work with the cap. But besides the obvious fact that Petrangelo is just from an hour away from Toronto and having plenty of family in the area, more than just his immediate family, because his immediate family, his actual you know, wife and kids, is in St. Louis. Besides that, a lot of them is in Canada and not far from Toronto. So things to add in but when it comes to vegas a lot of reports have come out over the past 48 hours to suggest that they're going all in on petrangelo which is very interesting they have not even five million cap space to work with so how will they make this work well shout out to nhl rumors daily of course on twitter make sure to check him out he has roughly 30,000 followers and has great intel and really has great sources for his insight here he has been spot on with so much information that he's come out with and he has come out this morning with a bomb suggesting that the vegas Golden knights are are going all in and growing very aggressive in the likes of Alexander Petrangelo, the 30-year-old right-hand defenseman, captain from the St. Louis Blues. But how will they make it work with the cap? The belief is that they are going all in and getting rid of the likes of Paul Stasny's contract and salary dump, which is very well possible even with the flat cap. I'm sure they can maybe find a suitor there if they give up, say, a first-round pick or a prospect, something in that nature, I would assume. Stasny, of course, has a cap at a 6.5 mil for one more year on his contract, and he they also suggested that Marc-Andre Fleury is more than likely to be bought out. Now, this was something that I speculated over the past couple of weeks as a possibility, thought that a trade route may make more sense, and it seems that a trade route is still open, but they need cap relief now, and the easiest way for them to do that is, of course, to buy him out. Now, will it hurt them in the coming years? Yes, it will, but at the same time, they are trying to go all in on Petrangelo now and get that cap relief, and Fleury is a guy that, as much as they love him, they are going with Laner in the future. It's all but certain that he is going to sign a five-year, $25 million extension with the Vegas Golden Knights. It came out a while ago during the playoffs, and it was apparently in place going back to June, so it is all but official at this point in time, and all indication states that Fleury's time in Vegas has has reached an end so you very well could see Flory being bought out and picked up by many teams many teams are going to definitely be interested in him especially if he's bought out getting rid of that cap of course but when it comes to Vegas overall like I said they have less than five mil in their cap space so they will need to get rid of Stasny they will need to buy out Flory more than likely and they may need to do some more things to make it happen but if when you look at this Vegas Golden Knights team as it is they're in a win now stage as we all know they went to the Stanley Cup in their first year in the um in the NHL their second year they lost to the San, San Jose Sharks of course in that first round i believe and this past year of course they didn't make it to the stanley cup finals disappointing for them but nonetheless they are still in a win now stage and they are fully expected to have more playoff runs in the near future at least and petrangelo is the one guy that they could desperately need on that right side of defense their right side of defense is really the only gaping hole i seen it seeing that lineup out of all everything else in that lineup i think they're very balanced one through four in their lines and their defense has been solid but that right side could use some help and they know that so why not go for the biggest fish and that's exactly what they're trying to do petrangelo of course, six foot three, 210 pounds is probably going to be looking for anywhere between nine and 11 mil around seven years. But take some things into consideration here. When it comes to figuring out his contract, a lot of things come into play. You have to start with, of course, having a possible signing bonus for as soon as the first year into his extent into his new contract, given the fact that we could very well see more prorated salaries in the NHL going forward. Frank Cervelli came out with that just earlier today as well. Also, considering when it comes to the type of structure in this contract is very crucial it needs to be mid to back loaded of course because you have to make sure that you have security for the likes of the salary situation regarding escrow and not gain too many losses there so things to consider as well vegas would be very nifty in negotiating this contract if they do very well land him in the end but 
it will hurt them long term no doubt about it they already have many contracts that are committed to long term including the biggest one with the likes of mark stone at 9.5 mil for plenty more years to come so it'll be interesting to see what happens with vegas here but they're going all in for petrangelo which will make things very interesting if we see an actual bidding war possibly happen assumably he hits for agency could toronto make a bunch of moves to try to acquire him or are they going to go more the likes with maybe a guy like matt dumba or someone else it, it there are a lot of things that toronto can do to address their defense but in my opinion if they want petrangelo i fully understand it yes it will hurt them when it comes to cap they will have to free up and probably get rid of the likes of william nylander more often than not when you look at figuring out that type of scenario but petrangelo is one of the best defensemen in the nhl and there's no doubt about it when it comes to two-way game he's easily top three defender in the nhl has been subject to so many norris um uh candidacies same thing with another award too i just don't know why i'm blinking uh blinking on at the moment but there is a reason why he has been coveted for so long and appreciated in these nhl awards even if he hasn't actually won them so just things to consider as well petrangelo is an amazing overall defenseman he had just over 50 points in 70 games played this past year and 52 points to be exact 16 goals 36 assists and he, in his last 35 playoff games he's had 25 points talk about a guy a leader and not just in the locker room but on the ice victor had and ask with how much he can provide at the playoff level even though Hedman is better in my opinion Petrangelo isn't too far off he's an amazing two-way defenseman and since being an everyday NHL or back in 2010 he has had eight to only two seasons in which he hasn't recorded at least 40 points in the NHL very impressive for a guy who really isn't expected to be an offensive dynamo but he provides offense more often than not just effortlessly he's great especially on special teams or just a five on five and i just love his overall game even though he's 30 years old and the back of that contract definitely will hurt if he is on a say seven year deal to whomever in the end it will do the team good that acquires him because they are all surely in a win now stage for the teams that are showing interest as of now at least so there is nothing actually clear that he will go to vegas at this point in time but there are reasons to suggest that it very well can happen if vegas can free up this cap space same thing can be said with the likes of the toronto maple leafs as well florida panthers have been thrown in rumors as well but i don't know how much i'm banking on that i think florida while they definitely need to, do need to address that defense they have to figure out what they're doing between the likes of hoffman and danov and others too because they got to make sure that they have a sound offense enough at least with the likes of bringing in a guy like petrangelo so florida i don't think is really going to have much of a say in the Petrangelo sweepstakes, but I could be wrong. That That is going to be subject to change over this course in time when the offseason really starts very soon. For agency starts October 9th. I cannot wait. This is going to be insane. I hope you guys are hyped as much as I am because I, I plan on covering everything really regarding this year's free agency between the big signings that we will see more than likely, how they're structured, which will be very interesting, and of course the trades that we will see starting in the NHL draft or maybe even before it. We still have some time now. I won't be surprised if we see another trade possibly be for the stanley cup ends you know we have a trade pending currently with the likes of patrick hornquist and of course matthew uh, uh matheson so michael matheson i should say so whenever that is official i will have a video out for it right away but nonetheless i'm really looking forward to what this offseason holds and i hope you you are here to be a part of it so make sure to check out my previous videos if you are interested guys i have plenty of other trade rumor videos especially regarding alexander petrangelo make sure to check it out and if you are new to the channel hit that like hit that subscribe button if you ended up enjoying this kind of hockey content we just hit 1,000 subscribers thank you all so much guys it means a lot make sure to check out for live streams be on the lookout for them in the near future i will have plenty going up especially the nhl draft for at least that first day plenty of great content coming on the channel still and i hope you guys will all be here to view it it will mean a lot to me but comment down below all your thoughts guys do you think petrangelo will land in vegas do you think they will get enough cap space to make it happen or do you think there is really a good idea as to many teams still being in the running for petrangelo and maybe not as clear cut as just toronto and vegas as they both have heavy cap situations they have to deal with respectively i would love to hear your thoughts but thank you all so much guys i really appreciate it comment down below give me all your thoughts hit like hit subscribe and if you are interested in sending me any any nhl merch by chance if you want me to rep your favorite team or doing an unboxing of say a shirt or a shirt see or a hat that you want me to wear if i don't currently have because i don't have merch of many opposing teams in the nhl currently so if you are interested in something like that i do have a p.o box in the description down below make sure to check it out all i ask is that if you do intend on sending me something just dm me via twitter follow me and dm me if you haven't and all and or send me an email and the email that i'll have provided just so i have an idea as to when the package will come so just throwing that out there guys if you are interested but by no means do you actually have to do that but thank you all so much guys i really appreciate it and i'll be back very very soon